In this video, we'll learn two easy methods for adding text behind moving objects in a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. The first approach is quick and easy, but it may not be suitable for all types of footage. The second method requires a bit more time and effort but offers more flexibility. Now let's jump over to Premiere Pro and find out which method works best for you footage. First method works best for the clip that has bright background then subject and foreground. Similar to the clip I'm currently using. Let's add text with the help of type tool. Expand the text layer to same time duration of your clip. From effect controls you can resize and adjust position of text based on your need. This method completely depends on color. You can experiment with different colors. In my case, I'm giving magenta. Now on your opacity section, you can change your blend mode to darken. In this case, that magenta text is lighter than dark foreground, which helps to blend magenta text with anything that is darker on the tracks below. Now let's look at the other examples. You can go through same process. But this time for our text, I'll pick color from our same footage. Similarly, this same technique may not always work. Such as in this example, I've tried multiple blend modes. Darken, darker color and multiply option works better than others. Therefore, in order to use this blend mode method, text color and saturation of color really matters. Next, we'll move on to the second method. Let's add the text again. From effect controls you can resize and adjust position of text based on your need. You can experiment with different colors. Now duplicate the clip by holding Alt or Option and drag it above your text layer. Select this layer and go over to the effects panel and search for the color key. Apply the effect by dragging or double clicking. Now you can go over to effect controls, select the little dropper tool and click behind the subject. Adjust the color tolerance until our text is visible behind this subject. You can also play with other properties if necessary. Now let's take a look at the final results. If you want to elevate your editing skills, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a daily video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.